Okay, so what is up, people? Today, the new um, uh, Rockstar released the new muscle, the Gauntlet Hellfire. I need to turn on my phone because, like before, I have the stream on my phone. No, it's going good. Oh my god, get out of my way. Um, so yes, we've got the new Gauntlet Hellfire, which is very, very beasty. I nearly just blew up. Um, I will be going through the handling, but first of all we're going to go through the um, customizations. So at the moment this is what I've got. At the moment I'm struggling to find the style that works with this car, so let's have a look, shall we, at the customizations and see if we can think of I'm slowly growing to this. I might change the wheels for the magic touch. black. Um but obviously as normal we have the uh, bumpers. We've got stock bumper, you can't get rid of it unfortunately. Could get rid of it; it'd be better, but it kind of it kind of works. Uh, if it came out as much as the the uh, the fenders, it wouldn't be too bad. But, oh well, we're stuck with it anyway. So you got the stock one, which is just a plastic, I'm guessing. Then primary, secondary, and carbon, and then sink secondary front bumper. Secondary bumper with splitter, which I don't understand because oh, I know what it might be actually. Bear with me. If we change, because at the moment I've got primary and secondary at the same colour. If we change, if we just change it to that for now. I think that front bumper. Yep, yeah, the front but right. So. You got that, which is the splitter as normal, and then you got secondary front bumper, which is the whole of the front car in that colour, in the secondary colour. So it depends really what style you're going for. I'm gonna stick it with what I've got, and then the rear bumper you just got the wheel bar and the parachute. You don't actually do anything. And then the engine is normal, exhausts, stock, uh, big bore exhaust, tuner exhaust. Race exhaust, side exit exhaust, and titanium version, which aren't too bad. But if you like me and you care about your cars, you still got the holes with the exhausts. So, and we know that it's possible to get rid of because they've done it on the Gauntlet Classic. So why they didn't do it for that, I don't know. Uh, then the grill, you got stock grill, uh, grill deleted. So you got the exposed one. Secondary colour grill, black grill, then primary open grill, secondary open grill, and black open grill. So I went for the one down the middle because I kind of like a bit of separation. It looks a bit weird when it's opened to me, but that's my opinion. Headlight covers, I haven't got any of these because I kind of like my cars looking semi normal. So, uh, but you got black covered. Um, grill or grill cover, even. and chrome cover version. Dual headlight intakes, which basically turns the headlights into air intakes, so you have no front lights. Then you've got single light cover, which is covering one of the lights. Then single cover and intake. Dual light covers, getting rid of them completely. Then you've got a mesh grill cover. Paint, uh, plated front and then ball bars which ball bars do look good if you're going for a certain look I wish you could have the ball bars plus that I wish them two together I, I really do that would make it look so awesome these I think would be good if you go for a NASCAR theme because there are some it is a very NASCAR styled car um, but I went for none the hood, obviously we've got the stock, um, smooth, which just gets rid of that little bit at the top, uh, secondary colour, and then carbon, liveries actually go over the carbon, which is kind of cool, 
Um, then you got the primary vented hood with the bits in the middle plus two bits either side. The secondary and carbonary, carbonary, carbon. And then you got the ones with the engines poking out with various different types. Uh, but like I said, I go for more like semi-normal. So I go for the. Uh, I might put it as primary base. actually. Um. So yeah, kind of normal horn lights. Liveries, so we've got none, plain, like I said, depends what you're going for. Uh, then you've got thick white stripes, then you've got a red version, and a bright blue version. You've got the Bravado billboard, which has got the Bravado sign on the on the back, plus a strip down the middle, only on the hood. Uh, it also paints the sides of the uh, spoiler. I don't know if that's with all the spoilers, but it paints the sides of the spoiler. Again, I wish the livery went all the way around the back, but it doesn't. Uh, then you've got black racing stripes, which I have currently, which I think look pretty cool. It gives you a stripe on the top and a little bit on the side, just to give it a bit more thingy. Um, then you've got black two-tone, so similar to the uh, racing stripes, but instead of just two black stripes, it completely covers the top of the car, minus in the roof, which I don't quite understand. Uh, and then the stripe down the middle with the Bravado logo at the back. Then Weekend Warrior, which eh, I don't know why. What well, I don't. It's basically an army camo, but it's kind of confusing about why they've done that. Then you've got the racing ones, you've got the Redwood stock car, which is similar to the uh, Dominator. Uh, too much free time, which I guess looks alright. The hood, I guess, looks okay with the stripe, but that's about it. Then you've got a proper NASCAR style one, Raceway Hero. Proper, like, proper NASCAR styled. Um, Bravado Racing, again, NASCAR styled, a little less black, but it's even got the number on the top, which I did not notice, and looks really cool, to be honest, actually. Uh, I might actually end up changing the style of my car to make it look like this, to be honest, because I like my cars being simple and semi-normal, but at the same time unique. So I might change it to one. That, I don't like. I don't know, it depends what colour I put, but it's a bit too much red for me, I think, but that's Royal Tribute, uh, and then that's it. But I might, oh, I don't know, I don't know which one I'd go for. They've both got Bravado on the spoiler. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, I'll have to make a decision later. Um, plates, obviously you've got the number of plates, I'll change it to black. Uh, rear panel, you've got stock, then you've got the primary colour, secondary colour, carbon, black surrounded and plating, and then you've got primary surrounding, plating, and then secondary surrounding, plating. Um, but like I said, I've gone for semi-normal. Carbon one doesn't look too bad, I guess. I don't know. Uh, then obviously you've got the respray, which primary colour changes that of the car. So pretty much majority of it. Then secondary colour, which does the hood as well. But I've got my hood as a primary colour. Um, but does that? Does the roof, rear windows, and anything you've got set as a primary colour. Trim obviously does majority of the inside. Uh, the stitching on the car seats actually go with the, the uh, secondary colour uh, that you have selected. So, And then obviously crew emblem on the side. Roll cages. Uh, can we go in first? But There we go. Roll cages, pretty standard. You've got roll cage, cage with carbon seat, and then various other seats, depending on the style you're going for. Uh, the roof, you have normal or carbon, again, 
the livery going over the carbon, unlike some cars where the livery doesn't go over, which again is pretty cool. Um, I've actually got this engine brakes turbo and uh, transmission wise, I actually have uh, Ken, what? Hang on, I've just got a message. Have I now? Oh, can you help me get 10 mil? Uh, not really. I don't know how to. Apart from just playing a lot of things, and I'm not. I swear to God, the amount of times I used to play this on Xbox 360, people thinking I was a modder mainly because of my level was unbelievable. Um, I'm not a modder. I just play the game a lot, and I know what to do to get high rank. Sort of. Um, right, yeah, engine and everything wise, I've got it full. To sell it, I would get $633,035. Um, so, the actual car, I think it's seven, 780000 I think. Something like that. I'm not sure. Uh, then, obviously, you've got the skirt, which uh, primary, which gives it the plastic look, which is similar to the rear. I didn't notice before, um, then primary and secondary. Spoilers, we've got stock spoiler, which is not a lot really, which I don't think of it doesn't look too bad actually, I might change it back. Uh, then you've got a secondary colour of it, then a plastic version of it, which the liveries don't actually go through. So they go through carbon, but they don't go through plastic. And then you got carbon version and then you got stock car spoiler which would go with the stock car livery that you may purchase uh, drag spoiler because muscle cars don't do well with turns but we'll get onto that later um, and for more straight line speed and then you got the mid level spoiler wing which is what I have currently a uh, high level wing which is quite high uh, drift wing for drifting and then uh, tuna wing for tuning and then race wing for race wing if you were going for a more not a NASCAR but a Dodge styled racing car. Uh, to be honest, I might change it. I don't know. I know we'll keep it as it is for now. And then obviously, suspension goes down quite a bit. As you can see that is all the way down, but it doesn't look too bad when it's all the way down. To be honest. And then obviously transmission turbo. Uh, the wheels, the wheels that are stock are these. Fortunately, with the red strip, you cannot get rid of them. Um, so you're stuck with the red strip if you like the stock wheels. Um, but if you're going to go for wanting to change the colour of them, like I am about to do, you want to go onto muscle stock, and it is five star. That is the rims that you want to get if you want to get the um, stock styled ones which I'm going to do and change to black. Uh, and then obviously the tyres and then the windows. Um, but 26 customization options is not really that bad. Change this back to how it was. Um, but like I said, it's not that bad actually. The handling. As you know, um, muscle cars are tend to go for straight line speed. Uh, however, this one is kind of a rebel when it comes to that. As you may see, if I can do it right, uh, in this next part. Now, normally muscle cars in real life cannot go around corners very well. But this one, not done right, uh, it's quite slippery. As you can see from a standstill, put down around this corner, already sliding. There is a lot of understeer. Um, now I'm not sure if it's because I'm turning too sharply, but I tend to turn this sharp and all the cars I drive, and none of them are really that bad. Um, but it might have something to do with the suspension, whatever it is that Rockstar did to the newer cars that are being added. 
uh, because some of them that if you go um, over bumps you do get pretty mad speed which are okay in races but not for jumps because you tend to go over checkpoints uh, but overall the handling isn't that horrible if you know how to do it this thing can be a pretty good drifter like that that's I'm not even doing much so and it's already drifted um, but it is controllable if you can drive properly. I'm not the greatest driver in the world, but I know how to do good in races. Um, so I'm not saying take my word for it. It's not. I haven't yet used it in an actual race against other people, so I don't know how it fares with um, other cars. But like that, quite wide, sharp turns. It goes quite well. On. So the uh, overall result, very good customizations, very good styling. It's very meaty, very beefy, very. Um, it looks mean, but at the same time, nice. Um, it's like the kind of. The friend that you have at school that's like he's hard. He's a, he's, a, he's as they say, he's a hard man. He, he knows how to get his way, um, and he knows how to get like people off his back. But he's the kind of mean guy that you can go to and actually have a decent chat. With. Like he's a cool guy, but he's also like he knows when to step it up. That's what this kind of car is. Like, yeah, I know I'm mean, I know I look dangerous, you know, you need a hand, you need a hand, you need a check, come on, talk with me. That's what this car looks like, it looks like that kind of car. So, yeah, um, but overall, very nice car, quite slippery, um, fully upgraded, so just, you know, keep an eye out for that. And... Speed, like I said, I haven't done it with other races, so I'm not 100% sure what it would perform like. Um, but yeah, I think like last time with the no, I didn't. I did it with the LG Custom. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of Rockstar editing on it a bit later, um, just to give you some some different angles show you what it's like on the test track that I've made. I kind of need to sort it out a bit. But yeah, that was the Gauntlet Classic. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Not, it wasn't really a tutorial. The um, walkthrough of it. Hang on, I'm going to try and drift around this corner if I can do it right. A bit fast, but like I said, quite slippery. Um, no, it's quite cool. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in possibly the next one, I guess. If I can get a decent angle to finish on later.